A family is a united force that sometimes comes together in times of need. Whether or not you may disagree with the members of your family, there comes a time when they offer unconditional love and support for you. It's important to remember how strong a unity is, although as people we often take it for granted. When people look at art, they see multiple perspectives and trying to decipher the meaning behind the work. Although art isn't always subjective, it could display a story of its own. While at the Getty, searching for paintings, I found two that stood out to me. Those paintings were The Acquittal, painted by Abraham Solomon, and The Ransom, painted by John Everett Malias. Both 19th century paintings depict two different families in a distressing moment in their lives. With this painting, I believe the significance and symbolic meaning of unity through a family. Abraham Solomon was born in London in May 1823. Being only the second son of eight children, at the age of 13, he was awarded a silver medal for his drawing of a statue, setting up his future success in the art world. After his death, his artworks were, would be reproduced as gravings. The painting, The Acquittal, wasn't officially published until 1866, four years after Solomon's death. According to the Library of Congress, the court proceedings happened between the 1850s and early 1860, and is a sequel to a different painting called Waiting for the Verdict. In his entire career, Solomon redid this painting three times, and all different versions of this painting are up at three different museums, also published under a different name, Not Guilty. The portrait was created by using oil paint on a 1016 by 1270 canvas. As stated by the Tate Art Gallery, Solomon reveals the family's relief now the man has been acquitted. However, there's more to the painting than just family being reunited. If we take a closer look at the painting, we can see that there are hidden layers to the story being presented in front of us. As we analyze the painting, we can see how symmetrical the people in the painting are. The main focus is the family being reunited. The position that the family is in comes off as a triangle in the center of the painting. However, if we move our focus to the right side, some can interpret that the father of the man, who has been acquitted, thanking the judge for his final verdict, while in the shadows there seems to be another conversation between two other judges. If we take a closer look at the left side of the painting, we see a bystander pointing at another man accusingly as if Solomon is trying to display that the real guilty man is getting away with the malicious crime. This is evident by the victorianweb.org stating, it seems he was wrongly accused or the victim of a malicious crime. In the background, a bystander points accusingly at a man leaving the courthouse. It is clear that the guilty man is escaping and the original charge was malicious. Even then, the underlying theme in this painting is innocence. Before continuing with the in-depth analysis of the Ransom painting, it is important to learn more about the artist first. John Ever Malias was an English painter and often he would use the people in his life as models for his artworks. He and his work would become so well known in the art world that he would receive knighthood before his death in 1896. In the painting The Ransom, it's a painting that tells the story of the knight paying the kidnappers to retrieve his daughter's back. According to the Getty, he had help in capturing the aesthetic of the 1500s. His wife, Effie, researched and made the period costumes. His friend, Mr. Miller, posed for the head of the knight. A railway guard named Strong was the model for the knight's body, and the two girls were painted from a single model, Helen Petrie. When observing the work and researching the artist, you realize this is a pre-Raphaelite art style. Pre-Raphaelite is a type of art style that attempts to defy all conventions of art and emphasizes a photographic representation of the subject, which will explain the semi-realism of the painting. As established before, pre-Raphaelite is to attempt to represent photographic realism to the art. If we take a closer look at the painting and look at the faces of the subjects, we can see a three-dimensional aesthetic on the people's faces. Besides the realistic look to, of the subjects in the artwork, let's look at the color palette of the painting. It has a mixture of light and dark colors from the man on the far left with his white and blue uniform to the kidnapper's dark purple vest and forest green pants on the right side of the painting. The line work on this painting 
as you can see, has many semicircles from the father's armor to the collars of the criminal and the hat of the man in the blue uniform. Although if you're paying attention to the painting, if you take a closer look at the lower limbs, they are almost incomplete. An art journal review states, the lower limbs have not received the attention which the artist has been accustomed to carry into his best works. In the end, if we take a step back, we can tell that the story of this painting is about a father who loves his daughters and is willing to do anything to get them back to safety. In conclusion, family is important even through art. Art is a powerful staple in our lives. It's nice that it could also bring families together and provide statements of unity. Through looking at the colors, lines, and light of the two paintings discussed, it's possible that the artists Abraham Solomon and John Ephraim Malias tried to emotionally connect the viewers to the pieces.